Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Felsbrunn. Um, some uh, nice developments uh, since my last video. I uh, Well first I had to feed the chickens. I uh, finally went out and got chicken feed and they are eating quite a lot. Uh, let me just show... Yep, that's not the one I wanted to show. <laughs> I'm going through and learning all the different menus for all these different... Here, nope, same one. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, so the chickens is pretty straightforward. They just need uh, uh, feed and water. And then the tree fruit will eventually be the next one I work on, uh, adding manure and water uh, to get apples and different fruits from things. Um, but the exciting one right here is the bees. Now I've got these regular honey beehives, um, and this is a mod from Global Company. And I just figured out how to add the uh, stuff to the uh, stuff to this. It's called a honey room. So I didn't realize you had to open this cover. And then I think, yeah, I'm learning as I go here. I guess you pick these up and stick them in there. Yeah. So <laughs> okay. So you just have to get it close so it auto fills it in. I guess I'm being attacked by bees, I don't know. Um, close that cover. And then I want to open the menu. Okay, so as you can see we've got, we're not at 100% on any of those yet, but I went and bought one box of bees. So that uh, got us up to 25% and then the honeycombs of course, we're going to need to add more of those. but. Um, finally figured out how to do this so that's finally doing something um, so we'll see how long it takes for the honey to uh, be produced from the honey room there so um, but yeah just enjoying this little shaded spot with the uh, under the fruit tree <laughs> with the honey bees in the honey room thing it's called um, I'm trying to I forget how I open this one where's my cheat code for that uh, changed a bunch of settings and learned, yeah, like the turning on the beacon now, and like I figured out how to do that. Um, I mean, that was pretty easy, but just like all these little things have been delaying. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to, let me, I thought there's an egg, there's an egg thing, egg thing, hold on. Um, let me think about, yeah, I would put that over here somewhere. There's like a little egg station thing. Um, so let me show you what I mean. Because the eggs need to be refrigerated, I think. Well, they do need to be refrigerated. Um, but, yeah, this thing is what I'm talking about. Egg box storage. So I need a home for this. I like parking my planter right there. So, <laughs> And I added a water pipe as well because eventually I'm going to be uh, watering the trees there. Oh, I can put that wherever I want. Okay. That would be some kind of issue. Uh. <laughs> Watch me overthink it. <laughs> That's fine here. I'm just thinking because the eggs usually show up on the ground for some reason. I don't know why they do that. Yay, okay. Um, yeah, then firewood and all this stuff is still... I'll be doing that eventually. So yeah, I've got my water pipe. Um, I've got to go over, pick up the... Uh, this is going to be like a small task video, I guess. Um, pick up the trailer for uh, the gator, which is going to be my little water tank, just for the trees specifically. And uh, let's see, let's carry this over. So yeah, one, I think it was like one full big bag of feed uh, filled up the chicken, so they should be good for a while. And let's see, does this have a menu? Yes, it does. Oh, okay. And now uh, I need to figure out how does this thing work? Everything's got its own menu. <laughs> I have in the store. <laughs> okay. So 
So, <laughs> I guess we'll come back to this. I'm not sure whether there are eggs in the box. Oh, you know what? I know how to do this. This is what I was trying to figure out. Oh, okay, so four eggs. You can see, so here's the food cleanliness. Um, it's under the seasons menu. Okay, so that's what I wanted to check on. So yeah, apparently there's eggs in this box. Um, let's see. Nope, that's not under the honey room, so... Oh, yeah. No, not under sell price, or maybe... I could just... Okay, see what that does something. Trigger price. See if they sell or whatever. Oh, hold on. Set open door. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah, open door. <gasps> oh, the door does open. That's cool. So what are we doing here? I don't know. <laughs> I guess bring it in. I'll bring in the box. I didn't know you could open that door. Nope. No, it's not. There we go. Nope. Oh, okay. Did you see that? Just grabbed it from me. And now it's doing something. Ah. Okay. So, it does something. Alright. Closed door. That's a very specific command, I guess. Okay, all right. Well, that's done. Um, so I guess the chickens... No, wrong menu. Not that one. Yeah, so they don't really care about water, I guess. They just need feed. Okay. All right, now for the next thing. Um, yeah, drive the gator down there. Get my little beacon on. <laughs> And I'm gonna try the water tank first, probably, um, and see how I'm going to f water the trees. If that's going to be an easy process or not. But yeah, I figured a uh, little change uh, instead of doing the regular stuff, planting uh, the uh, yeah the planters right up there where I left it, uh, sunflowers. Um, so. I'll be going back to that eventually. It'd be nice if it warmed up a little bit more. So I'm trying to fix, well, I'd get this steering fine-tuned, it's still like a little, I don't know, jerky. Using a joystick. <laughs> it's not the best. Okay, so there's the trailers. I could, mm, no. I mean, I could put everything on the gooseneck trailer, but I don't think that really be worth. Sweet. Yeah, these uh, this tank and this trailer were in insanely expensive. <laughs> I don't think the the prices reflected real world. Uh, but yeah, it's just uh, we'll see if this works. If we can water the trees and get production for fruit. And. Uh, should have bought more bees. I'll go back again. Uh, but the gator's useful for carrying all these little boxes and hive pieces and things. Uh, it's easy to get stuff in and out of the bed. Oh, apparently this trailer is kind of heavy, even empty.
Oh, I just realized there's street lights along the farm. I didn't notice this before. Oh, maybe I did that. <laughs> I probably did that. Alright, let's fill up at the water. took no time at all. Alright. And now I need to figure out how do you actually water the trees. I'm guessing it's just gonna kinda like teleport it. Ooh, yeah, well it's that's heavy. Um, I'm flooring it right now and more like yeah. Okay. Uh Oh yeah, so it's just gonna water the tree. Magically. It's taking a lot, damn. Okay, full water for this tree. little beacon on. Okay, next I'm going to take the truck, get the, um, oh, you know what? I need the skid loader to move the skid loader bucket. I'm going to get, what are you doing? Pets, get some pets. You know what? I could just, yeah, do what I did earlier. Drive the skid loader on the road. It's not that far. So I just drop that right there. Dog is clear. Where did he go? That's quick. See, does this have a I don't have a beacon, but yeah, that do anything. Turn my hazards in. So yeah, just working on these little projects, um, just so they uh, are set up because they can run in the background while I'm out doing the bigger, big stuff like planting and everything figure I'd do as much as I can now. And I set up a compost, or a manure pit rather, um, on the other side of this my shed. Um, so I'm getting the skid loader bucket to uh, be able to move some of the uh, manure to the trees so they can hopefully start producing stuff on their own. <laughs> yep, this is top speed. This is why the video is going to end up being two hours long. But yeah, I need to... Oh yeah, the next thing I'll be doing is uh, lo looking forward to is getting the uh, spreader. 4940 fertilizer spreader. And uh, heading out to the fields, raise that nitrogen content up. Uh, yeah. Here comes Mr. Impatient. Because I'm going eight miles an hour. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, 
just need to get a bucket and um, Yep, that works. What is the difference here? Oh, the design on the side. Expensive. Okay, I was thinking about uh, going to go get the truck to finally move the trailer and the skid loader all at once, but it's just going to be, excuse me, it's just going to be faster to just do this, as slow as this is. There you are. Clear. Bucket looks different than. I don't know. It's been a while since I used the skid loader bucket, I guess. Usually it's just forks. But. Okay, yeah, just joking. Got all these menus over here. What's this do? Oh. Shows different statistics for the vehicle. That's pretty cool. Cruise control. Oh, okay. Different speeds. So many different menus. Different mods. to play a full bucket. <laughs> Go ahead and turn that off. See how much manure these trees take. Uh, this is all, uh, yeah, these are all fruit trees around the house. So. I'm not going to accidentally miss, mistake one for a regular tree. See what happens. Okay, so a full bucket is sixty four percent. Okay. So 
so that's good to know. Obviously, this is a little tedious. Because uh, I'm going to have to, yeah, water, full tank of water <laughs> for every single, well, five, I think it's like five or six trees. But different, um, so different fruits, apples, and things, so we'll figure out what to do with that when that eventually. Yeah, plums on this one. So we've got eggs, we've got honey, bees, and uh, yeah, the different fruits, and of course the crops that are. Oh, I oh know. It's still zero. Oh, okay, 1%. Woo! <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'm going to eventually fill that up. Everything will probably eventually be filled up 100%, but, um, I think that would be kind of a boring video to try and do everything, uh, re just repeating the same stuff over and over, so I'll be doing that on my own, but cool, got some uh, stuff set up. And I don't know what this does still. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess we'll see. It'll be a matter of time. Um, but I'm looking at the is that yeah, I'm just looking at the orange text in the little left side of the screen. I haven't figured out what that menu means. I just know it's gonna be handy at some point. Um, but yeah, trying to figure out all the mods after downloading them probably two or three years ago. Starting to finally figure out what they do. So yeah, I think it's good uh good productive video. Got some things started and uh, see you in the next one.